Mocha family. Welcome back to my 21 day fast. I'm giving you guys daily updates. So if this is your first time tuning into one of these videos, go ahead and check out day one where I give you the parameters of my fast, the, the beginning weight and what I'm trying to do with this spiritual fast. Okay. And so I've been tracking my weight to see how much weight I'm going to lose on this fast. And so this is day five for me, first thing in the morning. So in this video, I will be reporting how yesterday went, how day four went. And so yesterday when I stepped on the scale, I weighed 146.8 pounds. And I'm looking at my phone because I take a picture of the scale. Today, when I weighed myself first thing in the morning, I weighed 146.6 pounds. Okay, so as you can see, you know, there's no specific uh, amount that I'm losing. It kind of fluctuates and it could be a little, it could be a lot. Uh, whatever. But um, I wanted to share what my day was like yesterday, particularly about my skin. Uh, this can happen when you're fasting. It ha it's happened to me in the past. Your body begins to detox and your skin is the largest organ of your body and so sometimes you can have breakouts on your face and before i started the fast my face was perfectly clear i'm not wearing any makeup for the purposes of these videos so that you can see what i'm working with i don't wear that much makeup anyway but you know if i would put something on i'm not putting something on for the purposes of this video but um this is just uh, these are not this is these are just marks they're not bumps but over here i don't know if you can see it because it's kind of flat um i have a large bump over here and it's it's more like a cystic bump it's deep under the skin and it's hard and it's tender okay and back in the day i read an article about what acne break out, breakouts mean uh, when they happen in different areas of your face. And I seem to remember that if you break out in, in like this area, that it's detoxing. And I knew that I would be detoxing because we just came out of the holiday season and I, I was downing that eggnog like it was going out of style. Um, and all kinds of things that I don't normally eat. So I knew that my body would be detoxing and I tried to help myself along by getting some Epsom salt. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was told um, by the herbalist that I work with that Epsom salt is a good way to detox your body. And so I purchased some and I, and I did one soak. Uh, maybe I should have done more, but um, you know, so I have this bump. So that's that's one negative that I have to fight my way through. And it's already less tender today than it was yesterday. So I'm trying not to touch it. I've been touching it ever since the video started, but I'm trying not to touch it. I'm trying to leave it alone so it will go away. So be prepared for the possibility of that. Yesterday, I experienced a fair bit of gas. Um, it was a it was not as much of a busy day yesterday for me i stayed in my 16 year old is working on a long research paper and i wanted to be available for her to you know get help from me and so i stayed in and did things around the house i did a lot of cooking yesterday uh and um you know particularly because i know that next week when I jump into my no meals a day. I mean, I can still do it. I've cooked while I'm fasting before, but if I don't have to do it, it's better for me not to do it. And I know that my kids are not fasting to the extent that I am. And especially the younger ones are going to be asking me what's for breakfast, what's for lunch, what's for dinner. And I want to create a situation where you know, 
I can avoid getting frustrated, annoyed, and stressed out about food. So I did freezer cooking. You know, I, I made a bunch of different things. I, I tried to make meals that I know are winners, meals that I know that they're going to eat so that when I give it to them, when I'm fasting, I don't have to deal with bad attitudes and people not wanting to eat. Their, attitude, their appetites are very hearty since they're not snacking. The little ones tend to give up snacks when they're fasting. And so, you know, I think I made barbecue chicken. I made uh, orange chicken wings. Uh, I made a chicken tikka masala, stir fry. You know, all these things freeze really well. I made a lasagna. Um, I also put them in smaller portions. This was a mistake that I've made in years past where I've frozen the food in the same portions that I serve my family. But because different people are fasting different meals, when I heat up dinner, if some people are fasting dinner, it's way too much food. And then the little ones end up having to eat the same thing over and over and over until it's gone. So this time, I froze the food in really small portions that would be enough to feed two or three people. And if I want, I can stack those portions if it turns out that more people are eating. And so I think I have enough food um, made to make it all the way through the fast. And I also bought a lot of convenience foods that they can go ahead and, and warm up for themselves. Things like frozen pizza, hot dogs. We have have cold cuts, tuna fish. I even bought the Kraft uh, macaroni and cheese, uh, the bowl portions that my youngest, Rayma, can just add water and put in the microwave and make for herself if she wants to have that. So what I'm doing is I'm giving everybody the, the keys and the, the tools so that, you know, if I'm struggling uh, because I'm not eating or I don't have as much energy, you know, I don't have to deal with these things because everything's already set up to flow on its own. So that's a key. I think planning is a good key when you're fasting. Plan to see how you can make things easier for yourself and do as much as you can during the part of the fast where you're eating and where you have more energy so that you can be successful later on when you know you 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 want to do as little as possible and really focus all your energy on spiritual matters and so uh, on the spiritual front i i find that um i've been flowing a lot more easily in my giftings. We were at uh, the last prayer meeting, that, that camp style meeting I was telling you guys about at a friend's house. The last one we'll be able to attend. I think he's ending them tomorrow, tonight, but we, we, we won't be there tonight. I have to get my act together because I have to teach in the morning at the umbrella school and my girls have a full day of classes there. And so I'm not going tonight. So last night was our last night, my husband and I, tag team taught uh, at the meeting at the Bible study and when it was time for us to pray for people you know I noticed that I was able to flow in in my gifting of praying and giving encouraging words to the people I was praying for I noticed I was able to do that very very well a lot more easily than um, in the past when I would be having all kinds of thoughts racing through my mind to distract me you know as I'm praying and I noticed that I was able to flow with my husband really really well and so that's an obvious blessing of, of spending more time with the Lord and being more connected to the Lord. But as I was saying earlier, I experienced a fair bit of gas yesterday uh, because I broke my fast like around uh, one, between one and one thirty. And, you know, I ate the food that I had cooked. I made rice and, and peas or rice and beans uh, with the barbecue chicken thighs. And I, I had some, um, Brussels sprouts, some sauteed Brussels sprouts, and some spinach and kale with that and in that big serving bowl. And um, 
the food, the flavor of the food was at another level yesterday. The food tasted so good to me. I, don't, I mean, I feel like one, uh, one thing I'm experiencing is, is heightened. My senses are heightened, you know? I feel more of everything. And so I enjoyed my meal so much, but I was eating with the family. I was eating with the family and I was distracted while I was eating. And, you know, I think I ate way too fast, you know, and then after I finished eating, I was craving crunch. And so I ate these, um, they were organic, but they were sweet potato corn chips. And I feel like that in particular is what caused the gas that I experienced after um, my, it was painful gas and it lasted, you know, all afternoon until I finally thought to have some um, apple cider vinegar in warm water. And uh, that really helped it all come up. Um, and I also had green tea and once again, last night, the green tea worked really well for me. Um, and so that was a little uncomfortable trying to get the gas up. But um, it's just a reminder to take my time, chew my food. You know, I feel like when you break your fast, you, 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 and it's only, you know you're only eating that one meal. It's like you feel like that meal has to be everything and it's hard not to just scarf it down. But I've learned that I really need to take my time and chew um, and take my time and relish that I'm finally eating. And sometimes I, I feel a little sad when I'm done eating because then I realize that, okay, you're not going to eat again until uh, tomorrow. Uh, so there's definitely emotion attached to eating. Uh, so, but it went well yesterday. I slept well. Um, I feel great today. I have a lot of energy. Um, thoughts did go through my mind about next week when I drop down to no meals, a uh, little bit of anxiety about what that's going to be like, but you know, I'm trying to stay in the moment and I'm trying to get through it one day at a time. So that was it for yesterday in a nutshell. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, and I will be back to report how things go tomorrow. Be blessed.